Hi, Mill Creek kids. Um, well, Halloween is Saturday, and uh, we sent the home the bags with you on Sunday, and and uh, I wanted to just uh, bring you another story uh, before Halloween because there's a great story in the Bible um, that kind of has some kind of spooky um, message to it, and um, I wanted to talk a little about that story. And so I brought out my decorations here to help me with this story. You know, we see skeletons hanging everywhere at Halloween. Uh, you'll see them hanging on people's houses or in trees, and, and along with the uh, ghosts and goblins and pumpkins and everything else that we have. But I wanted to talk especially about a story that has to do with uh, a skeleton. And so um, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, this Bible story comes from the Old Testament, so that's in the first half of the Bible, and this that's a time before Jesus was born in the Old Testament, and it's in the book of Ezekiel. And uh, Ezekiel was a prophet of God, so he taught, did some teaching, and, and helped teach people about God. And uh, so Ezekiel, this story is about Ezekiel, and uh, something had happened to Ezekiel. Uh, at that time of uh, history, God would uh, pick these people and then they would talk through these people uh, to teach. And so um, God actually took Ezekiel to a big valley that was um, full of dried up bones. Now that sounds kind of like something that you would hear in a spooky movie, but this valley was full of bones, all kinds of bones just laying there. There were leg bones, there were arm bones, all kinds of bones just laying in this valley. And um, God showed these bones to Ezekiel, and he said, um, Ezekiel, do you think you can make these bones live? And um, Ezekiel didn't quite know how to answer God, so he said, uh, well, God, only you know the answer to that. And uh, God said, okay, so here's what I want you to do, Ezekiel. He, um, he said, I want you to prophesy or preach to these bones and tell them to come to life. And um, so Ezekiel, he told Ezekiel exactly what it was that he wanted him to say. And uh, so Ezekiel went out to the bones and he said to the bones, um, bones, uh, come to life come to life. And so um, as Ezekiel was uh, saying this message of God that God told him to tell these bones, um, you know, there was all of a sudden a, a rattling noise and uh, behind Ze Ezekiel. And as Ezekiel turned around, he noticed that the bones were starting to come together. And the leg bones were attaching to the feet and they were attaching to the hips and there were arms attaching to shoulders. And these bones were all coming together and starting to form a body. Uh, and so then as the, as the bones came together and became the skeleton of a body, all of a the sudden there was muscles and tendons and all of these things started covering the bones and after the muscles and the tendons and the ligaments all came on the bones then skin started to form on the bones and so there were they the skin covered the bones and it was an entire person uh, that was there but they weren't alive the bodies were still not alive. So Ezekiel said to the Lord, Lord, what should I do? What should I do? And he said, well, preach to bodies and, breathe, and tell them that you're going to breathe life into them. And so as Ezekiel spoke to the bodies, uh, these winds came along and the breath of God filled these bodies and these bodies came to life and they all stood up and they were alive just like a big vast army here in this valley there were all of these people who had once just been dried bones and now they were fully alive um you know sometimes when we're having a bad day or um maybe things aren't going our way sometimes we feel like we're just a big pile of dry bones um we feel like we don't have any life in us and we just don't really want to do anything 
And all we need to do is ask God to breathe his life into us. And God will do that. God will make a, a bad day good again just by breathing his life into us. Just like God breathed life into these dry bones. You know, in Ezekiel 37, 5, it says, This is what the Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come by it. And that's exactly what um, they did and what Ezekiel did. As he preached to the bones, the breath of life came into them and um, made them alive. So, you know, things can be better. We just ask the Lord God to come into our lives and make us better. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, sometimes we face hard things and life seems hopeless. Help us to remember the lesson of the dry bones. If you can make dry bones live again, you can make something good out of the hard times in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, kids, have a great time uh, doing Halloween stuff this weekend. Be safe when you're out in your costumes. Have a great time. Watch when you're crossing the road. And just be safe and have a great, great time. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.